Greetings! Welcome to this new video about dependent source circuits analysis. Solve the problem number one. Let's consider this network consists of three resistors labeled R1 through R3 along with two independent voltage sources and one current source. Additionally, we can observe the presence of a dependent source, especially current controlled current source. The question now is to calculate the dissipated power in each resistor. Let's move on to the solution. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are three meshes. This is, is mesh number one, mesh number two, mesh number three. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh currents in this network and I will consider I1 the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2, I3 is the current in mesh 3. All, current, all, all the mesh currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. After we finish the assignment of the mesh currents, we need to remove the two branches contain the current source IS and the, the dependent source uh, current controlled current uh, source then we obtain our super mesh by applying kvl in super mesh we can write negative v1 plus r1 i1 plus r2 i2 plus r3 i3 plus v2 is equal to zero by replacing the resistors with their numerical values we obtain negative 10 plus 4i1 plus 8i2 plus 2i3 plus 4 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 6 plus 4i1 plus 8i2 plus 2i3 is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 1. We currently have one equation with the three unknowns, which means we require to additional equation to solve this uh, problem. In order to get the two other equations, let's focus on the current source IS. We can write IS is equal to I2 minus I1. That means I2 minus I1 is equal to 4 amps. And I will call this equation 2. Let's move on now to the source we have 2i1 is equal to i2 minus i3 that means 2i1 minus i3 plus minus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 and i will call this equation 3 after we finish applying the super mesh analysis we obtain three equations with the three unknowns let's start first by let's start first by equation 2 we have i2 minus i1 is equal to 4 that means i2 can be expressed in terms of i1 is equal to 4 plus i1 and i will call this equation a let's move on to equation 3 we have 2 i1 minus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 that means i3 is equal to i2 minus 2i1 and i will call this equation b by substituting equation a in equation b we obtain i3 is equal to 4 minus i1 and here we expressed also i3 in terms of i1 and i will call this equation c by substituting a and c in one we derive one equation in terms of i1 if we continue simplifying this equation we obtain negative 6 plus 4 i1 plus 32 plus 8 i1 plus 8 minus 2 i1 is equal to 0 and if we continue simplifying this equation we obtain 34 plus 10 i1 is equal to 0 that means i1 is equal to negative 34 over 10 is equal to negative 3.4 amps from equation a we have i2 is equal to 4 plus i1 
if we replace i1 with with each value we obtain i2 is equal to 4 minus 34 over 10 is equal to 6 over 10 is equal to 0 0.6 amps and from equation c we have i3 is equal to 4 minus i1 by replacing i1 with each value we obtain i3 is equal to 4 plus 3 34 over 10 is equal to 74 over 10 is equal to 7.4 amps we already found i1 i2 and i3 we go now to calculate the dissipated power in each resistor let's start first with with the, the dissipated power in the resistor r1 we have p1 is equal to r1 i1 power 2 we get uh, 64 46.24 watt the dissipated power in the resistor r2 is equal to r2 i2 square we get 2.88 watt and the last one the dissipated power in the resistor r3 is equal to r3 i3 square we get 109.52 watt after the, uh, completing the calculation, we conduct a simulation using the SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is our circuit drawn in SPICE simulator. This is, is our, our independent source V1 and our independent source V2 and our independent current source IS and this is, is uh, the current control current source to i1 and this is our resistor r1 through r3 in order to measure the dissipated power in the resistors r1 we connect here watt meter and for the resistor r2 we connect also here watt meter and for the resistor r3 we connect here also another watt meter let's move on to analysis this analysis calculate nodal voltage we can see here that the dissipated power in the resistor r1 is equal to 46.24 watt is exactly the same value we have done by calculation the dissipated power in the resistor r2 R is 2.88 watt is also the same value we have done by calculation and uh, the dissipated power in the resistor R3 is equal to 109.52 watt is similar to the value we have done by calculation. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Take care and bye-bye.